I had to root for Chloe. I can't believe that. I can't believe that homie attacked him. Yeah, I was a little so. All right, and we got Fragger Lucario, amazing Ampharos. Rosalina Luma, and Ampharos came out swinging in winter semis. He was close. It was, it was some rough games. Almost went to time with Lux on game three. And we got Fragger here. He's just gonna take the hits that he can. I don't sure. I'm not sure he's familiar with this matchup because it's pretty. It's pretty rough. Let's see what he's able to do. I think the closest experience that Fragger really has to this matchup is playing Ice Climbers against Lucas and Brawl. And right now, Ampharos is putting in a lot of damage. But that's kind of, you know, just business as usual for Lucario. He's got to make it so he has a damaging moveset. You know, just t take some hits, take some damage, and it's time to play. He's going to have to watch out for those Lumas. They put in some really heavy punishes. The knockback on Luma is pretty strong. I don't know if it's a function of them both hitting or if it's just Luma's knockback really strong. I really don't understand the character. That was, oh, very good. Uh, Fragger's been like having, you know, practice or issues recovering sometimes. He did a very good job recovering on line. I was a little scared right there because Lip has been known to really just kill players. Now, in terms of player quirks, you're going to see Ampros. He likes to cover a lot of landings with heavy punishes. So we're going to see if, you know, Fragger's able to really mix up his landing game and just avoid some of the heavy punishes that that Ampharos is able to give. Oh, he gets up and grabs. Very ballsy option. And I think Rosalina is actually in kill percent now. So this is close. He's got the Luma kill. Oh, he goes. He, he elects for a grab instead of force pump. He gets that force pump. That's going to pick up the kill. And Fragger's up. And he's right in there. Proud of my brother right here. Doing that thing I taught him. Oh, kind of waited a little bit. Son, brother, who's counting? You know, he's putting in damage right now. And right now, looking all grown up, all grown up, putting in, putting in a lead right now, sitting in fairly comfortable because I don't think anything's going to kill here. Oh, uh, that's a little scary. He's going to live, though, because he's Lucario, and God forbid we're able to kill this character. Wow, that, he's just putting in work with the Aura Sphere, and Ampharos is kind of miscalculated here. He's got Lucario at, like, 1,000%. <laughs> Uh, speaking of miscalculations, uh, he missed he missed Lilat. Very good veteran plays from Ampharos, you know, striking to the correct stage, picking up Lilat. Although it's going to benefit, you know, he got some wider blast zones, but that ledge wreaking havoc on, you know, it's going to make Fragger have to earn his recoveries back to the stage. Oh, very ballsy option. Kills the Lumo for his match, and he's in business right now. Putting on pressure. He's going to, you know... Put on as much damage as he can because I don't think he's going to be able to pick up a kill here at this percentage. It's going to be a little rough as far as that goes. Let's see what he's able to do. But once he's probably one Luma away, maybe he takes a little bit of damage killing the, the Luma and then he's going to be at kill range. But let's see what happens, you know. Rosalina Luma is that fortress, hard to get through, especially for Lucario with his frame data. Fragger's got to really make a read to make something happen. And now, uh, you know, Luma's in kill range. And Fragger's close to kill range, but not quite. Maybe up air might have killed it. It's close. And he's got to be careful about this. Oh, that, that's a very good Luma pickup, and Fragger is in business. This might be the... This is what he's looking for. He might be picking up a read, tries to pick up that up air. Oh, almost picks up that roll. Oh, he's, oh he went the wrong way. Tried to pick up a roll on Amazing Ampharos, but Ampharos rolled away instead of rolling behind. And now we're just close here. Either player is in probably kill percent. <coughs> Oh, he ran behind! <laughs> He's trying to charge, and the star, the star pits is uh, putting pressure, and that warp one's like, you know, kind of scary. Oh, he's got him off stage. Let's see what he's got. He, uh, he does. He, and he'd probably better, better serve the, uh, you know, trying to charge his aura sphere instead of that situation. There's not really a whole lot he can do. Oh, that's questionable. Bad recovery. So two bad recoveries kind of really cost him the game right there. It's gonna be interesting to see. But the fortunate thing in terms of stages, he's not gonna have to deal with the Lilac Cruise esque lip that I can think of in terms of stages, assuming he you know bans smartly. He's gonna have to really if you're Fragger, you're probably gonna be looking at the stages just sinking in my head. What are the uh, the the lips on the stages that I have to deal with? What are the you know things like that. He doesn't really wanna probably gonna pro I, you know, if I were him I'd be getting rid of he doesn't have to get rid of Lilac because, you know, DSR is on. That's going to be a pivotal factor. So they're going to ban. Let's see what we're left with. That was insane. I thought I was going to get that. I thought I was going to get a lone member of the crew left. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,